In our final example on how to find text and replace it with a hyperlink, we are going to find text and replace it with a list of links. Before we get started, if you want to play along, click on the link in the description and you'll find the link to this Google Doc. Okay, let's get cracking. So over to our Google Apps Scripts text editor and we will create the function multi link set. Cool. So our inputs this time are going to be a little bit different. At our links reference here, we want to replace it with a list of links that we have. So what we're going to do, and this could be drawn from anywhere else, but just for this tutorial, we're going to create an array of objects. So I'm going to have constant, const, a const links equals, and then we'll create an array. And then in each array, we'll have an object that contains a title and a URL. Okay, so our first title is going to be my website. We'll hit a comma here. And the URL is going to be https colon slash slash yagi san com. And then we're basically going to duplicate this a few times. So we'll just grab this, we'll hit copy. I'm going to paste and just tidy this up a bit. Okay. So this one will say, oh, shameless plug time, Twitter. And I'll put in my Twitter handle here so you can follow me on Twitter and you can chat to me there. So that's uh, HTTPS colon slash slash Twitter. Oh, tw two, Twitter dot com and my ID is life of spy yeah no don't ask okay and let's make another one let's copy that range again let's go back to here so we can make it wait there we go and get rid of that comma and let's make this one the Facebook page And you can also follow me there if you wish. So HTTPS colon slash slash Facebook dot com slash Yagi San at today dot com. Cool. So now we've got three sample URLs with their titles. All right, so let's add in another, our final input, which is going to be our text to find. So const text to find equals, and then we'll just grab this links. So back over to the document here and grab it. Hit control C to copy, put in our quotation marks and control shift V to paste. And that's all our inputs. And Looks nice and neat. All right, so let's get started with the code. So first off, we need to get the body inside the document app class. So we'll say const body equals document app dot get active document, or you can say open by ID, it's up to you, and then get body. And that'll grab the body of this document. And then what we need to do is to grab the paragraph element. So before we get stuck into that, let's let me explain a few things here. So what's this text is inside a text element and the parent of that text element is the paragraph. What we want to do is remove this text and the paragraph and replace it with our list of URLs. 
So if I just grab the element like I did in the second and first example for the text, it's going to, yeah, remove the text, but it's not going to remove the paragraph. So it'll keep this space here blank. So we need to go back one step to the parent and grab that element first. So let's get that started. So let's go let element equal, and we'll go grab the body. And first thing, we need to find the text that the element's in. So find text, and that's going to be text to find. There it is there. And we can chain a few things in here. Our first part of the chain is to get the element of this text element. So get element. And then we want to get the parent of this element, which is going to be, so this first get element is getting the text and then get parent will be getting the paragraph element. Cool. So this element now has the paragraph element. Our next step is get the index of this paragraph element. So what we'll end up doing is deleting out this paragraph and replacing it with this list, but we can still keep the index of where we're deleting. And we can do this by using the get child index method inside our body. So let's make a variable and call it index. So let index equals body dot get child index. And here we can input our element, which will be that paragraph element. And that is our index. Now, now that, and that will return a number that we can store. Now that we have that number stored aside, we can go ahead and delete that uh, paragraph element. So let's do that now. So we'll go element dot remove from parent. Cool. All right, so at this stage in the code, this element will be deleted, which is the text element, and then its parent will also be deleted, which is the paragraph for this text. All right, our next step is to run through a loop. Our next step is to run through a loop of all these links and insert them in to this index location. What we'll use to do this is the insert list item method. And what that will do is each time we iterate through one of these links, it will add it to the index location. So this will add the my website. And then the next iteration on top of that, at the same index, it will add Twitter. And then on top of that, it will add Facebook. So the order would be then Facebook, Twitter, and my website. Now, if you don't care about the order of how your links go in, that's fine. But I want to keep this in this order here. So my website, Twitter, and Facebook. So to do that, we can use a couple of JavaScript methods. So let's get started. First, we want to grab our links array of link objects. So links. And then we want to get a shallow copy of these. So we don't want to, we don't want to reverse these permanently. We just want to reverse these temporarily for this process. So we can use slice to do this and just not put any inputs in slice. So well, let's use the slice JavaScript method. And then we can use the reverse method on that. So this reverse is acting on the slice, not the actual links here. Okay, so once we've got everything reversed, we can now iterate through each one of these links using for each. And our for each, our for each takes a function, which is, and our function parameter is just going to be link. Let's call it link, so it's going to be each link. And we'll use an arrow function here. So for each link, we want to do something to it. So let's go ping down. Let's just tidy this up a bit. I'll have to put it up here. Good. Cool, let's move on to line 31 and tab in. Okay, so what do we want to do first? First, we need to grab the body of the Google Doc and we just want to insert the list item. So insert list, oh. list, there it is there. Hit enter, insert list item. 
open up our brackets and the insert list item takes two arguments. First, it's the index and we created that earlier and then it's the list item as a text. So we'll type in index and then we want our new text, which will be link dot title for each time it iterates through. So link dot title. All right, cool. Okay, that's, so that's the first item in our chain. Now we have our first list item, we can add in our URL. So let's just move over to that point to make it neat. And we can set link URL and open up our brackets there. And this time we just need the link. Uh, we don't need the start or end offsets. So let's go link again and URL. And the last item in our chain allows us to change how the list is going to look. So it could be an ordered list, it could be uh, alpha, uh, alphabetical list, or it could be dot points or little arrows on the side. So to do that, we can use the set glyph type, which is a cool name for it. And then we'll open this up and to then we need to get the glyph type which is found this way. So we go to document app, dot, and then glyph type. Just click that out of the way so you can see. And then you've got a list of glyph types. And for us, let's make it number. And make sure you put it all in capitals. Okay, cool, let's hit save and have a look over the left hand side at the links under example three and if everything's working okay it should change so let's hit run cool everything ran well we've got it all in the right order so we've got my website first then twitter then facebook if you click on the link you can get access to each point there's twitter there and there's facebook so that's the end of this small three-part series on how to find text and replace it with a hyperlink in Google Apps Scripts with the document app class. If you like the tutorial, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more, jump down to the link below and you can follow some more tutorials. I'll see you later.